This party has been demonstrating for months against the constitutional referendum and against Qais Sayed's new wide-ranging powers. The Free Destruyan Party, which has always stood against the 2011 revolution, is led by Abir Musi, known for her extreme anti-Islamist positions in parliament. She decries the lack of change since the president took power. We met her last June during a demonstration. The Tunisian people have said, we are hungry, our country is bankrupt. Our priorities are economic, social and financial. Today, no one can invest in Tunisia, no one can loan to Tunisia, no one can develop while the government isn't legitimate. But opposition to Qais Said is diverse. The Islamist party in Nahda and others have also been demonstrating for months separately. Just organizing these demonstrations shows that the opposition is gaining ground. Yet it's mostly political partisans that have mobilized, not wider movements. There's total confusion among the population and among young people with regard to these structures and these political constructs. But also, there were errors committed by political leaders themselves and by this political class. Today, parties are paying a high price for lack of self-criticism. Only one major party, the liberal Afek Tunis, and a few minor parties have chosen to campaign for a no vote in the referendum. They were prevented from holding rallies. The political climate has become noxious. It's become violent. There's violent speech. There's a violent discourse, which is coming mainly from the head of state. That speech is often targeted against the political class. It's a sign that this referendum for a constitution with hyper-presidential powers is seen as a repudiation of those who governed after the revolution.